Welcome to the lesson for the Tom Petty tune, I Won't Back Down. What a fabulous career Tom Petty has had and is having through the Travelling Wilburys solo career with the Heartbreakers. This tune is in the key of G. You're going to have to know four chords in total to get this tune happening. Not to say it's an easy tune to play, but it is simple at least. The challenge is the feel for this tune, particularly on piano, because it was written on guitar with the chugging guitars going dun 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 and so the challenge is to get that feel happening let's learn the chords first I like this E minor inversion here of an E minor although it's in the key of G it starts on an E minor two parts an A and a B part to the song let's learn the A part so you're going to have to know an E minor. You're going to have to go down a tone to the D. I like having no third in this. Makes it stronger. So from the E minor. Well I won't. D, ones and fives. Down to a G. Again, ones and fives. So, well, I want E minor, D, G, no, I E minor, D, G, E minor, D, and this is the fourth chord you'll need to know, it's a C. Ba -da -da -ba -da. Again, ones and fives are going to work for you. And a E minor won't D back down. There are the four chords you're going to need to know. An E minor, a D. Later in the tune, a C. And fourth chord, a G. So, gonna E minor. third there if you like. Back G and it tags that. No A E minor D G. So that's the A part of the tune. You get those four chords under control and you're going to be steaming. Next thing is the feel. So I like to play. So let's bring that up to speed now. Gonna stand D G. Gonna E minor D G. So you can see how that starts to get a bit of feel into the song, which brings us into the next part. Gonna stand That's the hardest part of this tune, yeah? The rest is going to be pretty straightforward. A, D, C. There ain't no easy way. D. I said C, D. So now let's get that happening. All you're doing is traveling. G, C right hand. It's an inversion of the C, root inversion of the G. Just move
moving those two top fingers. So G C G C A G D. So every time the movement is basically C to D. A D. There ain't no easy way C to D. But in between each one, there's a G. C. G. D. G. C. G. D. G. C. G. D. And a E minor. D. G. And a E minor tag. So they're the two parts of the song you need to learn. Let's get into a few advanced and intermediate concepts as well.